In this lecture, we will have a look at how we would do picking in the WM module. Now, as previously mentioned before, uh, the picking in WM is covered by the WM consultant, the warehouse management consultants, but for the sake of completeness within the supply chain course, we are going to have a look at how to pick uh, in WM. Uh, as we mentioned before, WM, uh, you will be picking using a transfer order and you would create a transfer order using the transaction LT03. You can then confirm the transfer order using the LT12 transaction and the, the suggestion or, or the best practice is to when you are doing the picking uh, to ensure that the adopt pick quantity is set in the transaction. This means that if you were to have a quantity that's different from the delivered quantity, you would copy the pick quantity over onto the delivered quantity. You can also create a transfer order if you use the transaction here, um, VL06, that would, uh, it's in the picking transaction, or you could always also um, create the transfer order automatically uh, via the output type uh, WMTI. Now, the benefit of using this transaction is that it automatically creates a transfer order in the background. Uh, provided that the output determination is correct, uh, you set it, and then uh, either when you create the delivery or at a certain particular time, uh, you, you create the output, and then you'll have your transfer order created for you from the delivery. SAP has also a functionality called Lean WM. And Lean WM allows you to create transfer orders for picking and put away. But it does not have anything else. It does not have the bins and it's basically not a full blown WMS uh, WWM system. It just allows you to create transfer orders for picking and put away. And the reason you would only want that is if you have your warehouse management system in a different system other than SAP and what you would want to do is create the delivery you would then create this fake dummy transfer orders you would send those by IDOC into the external system the external system will manage that do the picking and confirm the transfer order back into the delivery that is the most commonly used uh, uh, this commonly way of using the Lean WM. The configuration is almost the same as the, the WM. Uh, the, so, so you go in and in the option of WM there's a flag that says Lean WM and that you would turn on. Now mostly this is done by the WM consultant but just be aware that it exists so if you ever hear of that functionality you know what Lean WM means. Before we start, let's have a quick look at some of the transactions uh, in WM. So if we go to Logistics, so under the Logistics banner, if we go to Logistics Execution, Internal Warehouse Processes, and the Bin and Stock, so where's Bins and Stock here, and the Display, you can see most of the transactions that you would need to look at stock in the warehouse. So the most common one is LS24 and then LS26. You also have the transfer requirements here, um, also, and the stock transfer. The create and display transfer orders are the most important that you would need to know. Um, you would create a transfer order, or you could display a transfer order here. Yeah. So we've now had a look at transaction. Let's have a look at the delivery I have created. So for this delivery here, if we were to go into the picking tab the combination of plant and storage location has done this warehouse which is a standard WM warehouse. The picking status is A, the WM status is A. Now notice here it wants to pick to the storage type 916. This is a special storage type or uh, uh, shipping area meant for when you pick something you then put it into a specific area ready to be loaded. That's what the storage type is about. So from here if I were to uh, go into the menu sequential function create transfer order it would say do you want to go 
and if I say yes it would actually run the transaction LT03 in the background it automatically puts in the warehouse number and the delivery and as I said before I'm going to populate the adopt pick quantity with the value of 1 so I press enter here I'm now creating the transfer order with reference to the delivery and what I'm saying is look in storage type 001 and 002 and transfer it to the destination bin 916 and the bin number will be equivalent to the delivery number so that's what we are seeing here so what you are seeing is um, the warehouse the person who creates the warehouse um, or the WM consultant will actually say pick from certain storage locations which is automatically populated that you see here and it always moves to the 916 uh, bin type and the 916 bin type the bin number always represents the delivery number so it's always moving out of the bin to a specific bin which represents the delivery number which doesn't in some ways only exist once yeah so it takes it from the bin puts it to a specific area from picking so now let's go and pick it so you can see here the system has looked at the storage location it's found this bin it says there's 25 in that bin but we are going to pick one uh, and that leaves a balance of 24 in the bin we're going to take from this bin here we're going to print uh, the transfer order and I'm just going to say yes and save it and what will happen is the system will then create the transfer order you can see here at the bottom here the system has created the transfer order in the background um, if I were then to run the transaction uh, LT12 uh, I can then move forward and start confirming it so let's put LT12 in there uh, the adopt pick quantity is automatically populated you can see here I press enter and the system what we're seeing is we're actually moving a quantity of one from this bin to this bin here which is the same equivalent to the delivery number and I confirm it and I save it and if you were to check the bin we would see the quantity has reduced by one and in the bin that has the delivery number or it's the same in the delivery number the increase would be two so let's have a look and I'll press enter um, oops let's run the transaction uh, LS24 uh, just to get the transaction going uh, so I'll put the material in and the plant and the warehouse number 001 as you can see here and I'll press enter and now you can see here storage type 916 the bin which is equivalent to the delivery number there's a quantity of one and that according to what we learn balances out so if we go now to the outbound delivery you can see the delivery quantity is one the pick quantity has been grayed out but it's also set to one and that value came from the transfer order the overall pick status you also can see is C uh, and the pick on the pick status on the item will also be complete. I also mentioned that we could create the transfer order via the VL06 transaction so let's have a look at that so I'm going to run VL06 I select the picking and here um, if I execute I can choose WM picking only or for both picking types in this case I'm just going to pick both because I don't have quite a lot so let's go and execute and if I were to select this delivery and click on TO in the background the system based on the automatic settings will create the transfer order in the background for me now let's now go into the delivery so VL02N let's have a look how we would create the output with the message output determination so if I go to the delivery output and one message type is WMTA uh, where is that it should be here as standard so if we were to trigger the message output there you go WMTA if we were to trigger this one uh, and make it go green when we save the delivery then it, again the transfer order would be created in the back will be created in the background yeah so you have multiple choices you can manually create the transfer order using LT03 you can create it via the VL06 screen 
um, or you can automatically create so let's take a little bit of time and see when you would do uh, all three options you would do it manually um, when you don't have a lot of picking you, you then would use the VL06 transaction to create the transfer order if you pick and choose which ones you want to process first so for example uh, let's say a lot of your orders um, you know that you have to pick them but you don't know in what sequence um, it might be based on which customer arrives first to, for collection maybe and it is the people who are in the warehouse who chooses which delivery to pick first then it would be better to generate the transfer order using the VL06 screen if for example you have a process where it's all automated where you would create all of the transfer orders or the transfer orders within a certain cycle and you would then present that to the warehouse people for picking then it would be better to automatically create the transfer order in the background based on certain rules um, using the WMTA output so what you would do is you would create the delivery you would automatically put the output WMTA and then based on certain rules you would either automatically um, set the output to 3 to generate the transfer order or use the output processing program at a certain time to create the transfer order for that delivery so this one obviously will create the transfer order in the background and it would create it for what we call almost automatically so there's no one needs to decide when it when a transfer order is created it's created automatically based on some picking rules as I said this is much better when you have lots of picking um, and you want the, 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 the system to drive the picking process so now that we've seen how you would do a picking using a transfer order it is the same if you would have warehouse management or lean WM they're both the same using transfer orders in the next bit of this lecture let's have a look at how we would assign a warehouse either a normal warehouse or a lean WM warehouse to the plant and storage location combination and we'll also have a look at when or, or how the WM versus lean WM is configured so if we go to SPRO here uh, click on the IMG and it's actually in the definition so if we go to enterprise structure definition logistics execution it should be define copy delete check warehouse number so if I create on define warehouse number here you can see I have all my warehouses and a description that's it nothing else just the warehouse then if we were going to go to assignment logistics execution assign warehouse number to plant and storage location so we here we see the combination of plant and storage location will determine the warehouse now if you look at the first two entries you can see that the plant 001 and plant 0099 both of these are assigned to the same warehouse what does this mean I just created this so that you can see that more than one plant can be assigned to one warehouse and why would you have that well the most common is you could have a manufacturing plant and a distribution center plant and while physically uh, or in SAP there might be different plants uh, they might be part of one big warehouse that is managed together again it's how the business chooses to do it I just pers purposely put in two plants two storage locations into one warehouse so that you could see the config and you could see how it's done yeah? by default one plant will always have one warehouse you don't really want to make it more complex than that sometimes you could have one plant and one storage location defined to one warehouse and all the different storage locations not assigned to a warehouse at all okay so that's the assignment now let's have a look in the logistics execution oops where is it oh 
there we go if we go to shipping again and we go to picking lean WM oops not the control parameters oops cancel that scroll down control plant storage location activities now here is where you would say whether it's a WM proper WM or lean WM so if it's blank that means it's standard WM with bin stock and for plant 2400 you can see here the warehouse 024 if I do a pull down you can see here it's set to 1 which is lean WM connection with deliveries yeah, so this is where you would set the control whether it's lean WM or normal WM as I mentioned before most of the time this will be done by the WM consultant and they would use all of these WM configuration to manage the warehouse just be aware where the, where the configuration is and it'll s that so that it's a starting point so if you ever were thinking oh why is the system why is the WM behaving in a certain way you can always go to the configuration and that completes this lecture on WM and picking with WM